for this chronic systemic inflammation, insulin resistance, diabetes, and cardiovascular heart disease. Our attitude, Indian attitude, Vikari hai, wo bhig maang raha hai, lekin uska attitude dekho. Bhagwan ne liye katore mein sirf note daale, sikke daal kar, meri neen kharaab mat karo. Kaam kaam nahi kar raha hai, so raha hai, upar se urta hai, please do not disturb me. This is our Indian attitude, which we have to change. Sitting makes us fat, very important. Sitting increases the risk of death up to 40%. Sitting is killing you. So over 60% of the world population is considered inactive. And physical inactivity is a prime risk factor in death worldwide. So what to do? There is a recent, a recent publication and an evidence-based clinical trial. They say that there is a significant health benefit from in standing up study. What does it mean? It simply the western part of the world, all the offices, most of the offices, they have removed the chairs from the offices. They are asking the office staff to work eight hours in a standing position. You see the chain? Don't sit. So I will request next year TDMPA people and organizer. No chairs in the auditorium. Speaker is standing, the audience should also stand. Simple words. <laughs> next year, next year. Okay, there is a beginning. Okay. So 30 minutes per day is simple to increase to prolong your life. So this activity of 30 minutes per day will decrease hypertension will decrease insulin resistance, will decrease dyslipidemia and also decreases the thrombogenesis, the main culprit in causing the atherosclerosis and heart attacks and brain attacks. So physical activity of different kinds, not only standing, it can be gardening, walking, hiking, cycling, everything. And the most important statement downstairs, especially for the housewife, one hour less TV review cause a almost 11% reduction in the cardiovascular mortality. 11%. Just 8 hunter TV mat dekho, you will survive more 10 years. So basically, an early morning walk is a blessing for the whole day. Physical activity is the best medicine and physical activity do benefit. So start doing physical activity, all of you, and promote this to the community. Bad nutrition is another important risk factor. Bad nutrition, another extremely important risk factor causing cardiovascular disease. Diet is an important risk factor for CVD. High saturated and trans fatty acids are linked to cause higher coronary heart disease. Now, saturated fat and trans fatty acids. These are the two fats everybody likes in day-to-day -day life. These fats are for butters and ghees and dalgas and all these preparations which are available on the roadside or the junk food like vada pav, samosa, bhajiya, usar pav, all are prepared from this particular saturated and trans fatty acids, which are very, very tasty. But Unfortunately, the, best, the these kinds of food reduce your life by causing cardiovascular disease. So you are not supposed to have this kind of food. So saturated fatty acid increases LDH heat, that is the bad cholesterol, and polysaturated, polyunsaturated acid decrease the LDH heat, which is very important for us to survive. So there are two types of fatty acid which are not prepared by our own body and we have to take these two acids from the outsource and the best outsource for uh, EPA and DHA are fish oil or we can have different kinds of olive oil or res brand oil. In the market they are available in something, something called as Sapola gold oil. So there are different kinds of fats which I am going to discuss in short. 
So omega-3 fatty acids are extremely important to increase our HDL and reduce the total plasma triglycerides. They are anti-inflammatory, anti-thrombotic and anti-arrhythmic. Nutrition, another important factor, all of you are in sick, uh, emphasize on this particular point, is the salt. The salt should not be more than 6 grams per day in your day-to-day -day life. But all Indians, they will have an extra salt while they sit on a table or a, for a dinner or a lunch. Every time, they always put on the extra salt, which is killing us. So please do not take extra salt or added salt and <coughs> discuss this problem of salt with your family members who is cooking your meals that the sodium should be very less which causes hypertension, coronary heart disease and deaths. And that is why our meals should include fibers, fruits and vegetables. There are different types of fats available in the market. You see fats in general practice there are a lot of confusion. A lot of patients they ask me, what are these fats? What are these mufa, fufa, sufa? Okay, in short, there are dietary fats, there are blood fats, and there are tissue fats. Very simple to understand. Dietary fats means we eat tel, ghee, they are called as saturated trans fatty acid, mono unsaturated fat, they are called as mufa, and poly unsaturated fat, they are called as a pufa. They are put in the meal while preparing. They are called as a dietary fat. Then the blood fats are called as the lipoproteins. All of you are aware of LDL, HDL, VLDL. They are blood like lipids or a blood fat. And then there are tissue fats. And the tissue fats are called as the white fat and the brown fat. So these fat you must remember and how to take care of this fat. So good fats and bad fats. Dietary, I'm talking about the dietary fat. So on this green, green is a good fat. They consist of pufa and mufa and they are made up of olive oil or a rice bran oil. And here are the solid fats in the form of butter, ghee and dal dal. They are very bad for us. We are not supposed to stir these kind of fats. These are the blood fats called this, uh, classified as chylomicrons. Whatever we eat, they get converted into chylomicron. They go into develop into lipoproteins. And these lipoproteins are high density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein, intermediate density lipoprotein, and very less uh, density lipoprotein. These are the blood proteins which are responsible causing atherosclerosis and causing the cardiovascular disease. These are the tissue fat. This is called as a white fat which is responsible for our mortality. What we want to convert this white fat into a brown fat which is beneficial for the survival. So any extra fat is a white fat which is also called as a bad fat. So to convert the white fat into brown fat you must have a balanced meal i still remember my science of primary education there was one lesson called as a balanced diet and which is extremely true today even after 40 years of i left my primary education but the plate of our uh, meal should consist of all these basic ingredients which is called as a balanced meal in the form of vegetables, grains, meat, beans, fish, milk, fat absolutely in a low category and fruits are in abundance. So this is what we uh, require in a day to day life balanced diet to convert the brown a white fat into a brown fat. Hyperlipidemia, where do we stand? There are, I just, just discussed all these triglycerides Total cholesterol, LDL is a cardiovascular risk factor, increasing triglyceride, decreasing good cholesterol, which is the HDL. HDL is a good cholesterol. LDL is a bad cholesterol. So, if you have a very high triglyceride and very less uh, high density lipoproteins, the independent risk factors are increasing, and that is why we get the mortality rate very high. So. These LDL, these are very very culprit, notorious LDL which is killing the population all over the world. They are pro-inflammatory and they form the plaque information and instability and subsequently atherosclerosis. So we should have a high HDL to convey the reduced risk of cardiovascular disease.
So hyperlipidemia management, we have to have a very, very good lifestyle changes in the form of reduce intake of saturated fat, increase fiber intake, increase physical activity and weight reduction. So kick out the aerated water and your junk food. That is the way to tackle the hyperlipidemia. Pharmacotherapy of hyperlipidemia consists of statins with the combination of bile acid sequestrant in the form of cholesterol, nicotinic acid, fibrates, azetimide and omega-3 fatty acid in the form of EPA and DHA. Obesity, another extremely important and a very very uh, disgusting kind of a, uh, risk factor causing cardiovascular diseases. Epidemic going on all over the world. It is an independent risk factor for the CBD and this obesity is because of our genetics, sedentary lifestyle, easy access to food and increased portion of size. Now if you see all over the Thane, there are big banners of Burger King. Better, bigger the size, better 